you! You've been warned! Come on! I'm getting stabbed! He's a nutter! He wants lock it up! I'll get my step down onto you! Yeah. Go on, bring your mum then! Get him out of here! Inside, Carl, now! Get your hands off me! Come on! My mouth shut if I was you. Nat, get off home, will you? And you leave my lad alone. You've seen what happens when you come round here. Yeah, you heard her. Now go on. And don't forget, all bullies are cowards. Shut up, you stupid old cow. Grand. How dare you? Are you all right, love? Yeah. Craig, I need to talk oh, to you. Oh, not now, Dad. Listen, Beth, it's not going to happen. Well, can you see the state this is it? It's not about the shoplifting. Oh. Come on, let's get home. Beth! Beth! What was all that about, Dev? How are you feeling? Oh, I felt better. <laughs> Can I get you a drink, anyway? Oh, yeah, that would be lovely. Thank you, Anna. You know what we're all thinking about, oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Vice versa. I'll just take your bag upstairs. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah. look who's here. Oh. Hi, hey, Hayley. Oh, cheers. Hello, Hayley. Oh, hi, Sinead. Uh, we got you some mint balls. Thank you. Right, can I get you two a drink? Uh, yes, please. My cousin looks in the general. Does she? He. He's a porter. Smashing. Griffin, they call him. Oh, name don't ring a bell. So, do you have a telly in your room? Uh, I, I did, yes, sir. Uh, but I would later add it on. <laughs> I had my tonsils out in the general. I had our Gary there. The, the staff were lovely. <laughs> Well, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. They were terrorising him. I don't care what they were doing. What business was it of yours, Carl? You were a grown man, they were kids. Well, they should know better. No, you should know better. I've never seen anything like it. And I know you've got a temper, but for crying out loud. I don't know what came over me. I, I just... I just want tomorrow to go well. I want tomorrow to go well. But I didn't just have to kill a couple of ten-year-olds. Well, they're 14. You were like a wild dog. <clears throat> Everything all right? Yeah, just about. Anything I can do? Yeah, go stand behind the bar like we pay you to. Charming. Nice. Take it out on the staff. Sorry. I'm so sorry about everything, baby. You know, I, I, I just don't know what came over me. I'm a wreck today. I, I'll be fine this time tomorrow. I don't want to marry that maniac. And you won't. I promise you. You'll be marrying me. Please, babe, don't back out on me. I'm not backing out on you, Carl. I just don't like what I saw out there. No, neither do I. Now, whatever demons you're carrying around with you, whatever chips you've got on your shoulders... That was not me out there, I promise you. Now, if I go to Leanne's... He... I'll be fine. Go. Have a nice time. I'll stay out of trouble. There isn't a man with a, a capacity for extreme violence, then I don't know what is. But why? You know, well, all right, so Craig, he's being bullied, but what is that to Carl? So why don't we speak to Craig? No, please, not till uh, everybody's calmed down. And uh, have you spoken to Tommy? Yep, he said he can't say where Carl was all night, but doesn't remember seeing much of him. Same as me, really. Yeah. But everyone saw him on stage, though. Yeah, but he reckons he asked to go on stage first. So he could have slipped out the minute he came off. Well, you, you know what time the fire started, yeah? Yeah. Well, maybe he has to go on first, because he planned the whole thing. Dev is the perfect alibi. Right, look, he would have come off stage 20 past seven, yeah, done a runner through the office window, two minutes down the back ginnel, back to the bistro. It all fits. Have they got any CCTV? No. So what else can we do, Dev? Where does Craig fit in? He knows more than us to put the house on that, and as for seeing some chocolates, that's just... She's beautiful, isn't she? Do you know I'm going to put my house on it? Not only did you do it, I'll prove it. I admire your resolve. Yeah, well, there's only one problem with that. What's that? I've not got a house. Sounds like he's completely lost it. It's pre-wedding nerves gone mad. 
Maybe the dry cleaner shrunk his suit and he just couldn't take it anymore. Anyway, what about Tim? Is he on for it? Tim can't make it, unfortunately. He's not going? No, he's busy. I've told him not to change his plans. Well, me and you could go together. Maybe. Give it another. <clears throat> uh, yeah, if you like. Pint in a white wine, please, pal. Uh, it's not waiter service. That's you told. I'm quite frightened of him. Do you know, if we go now, I could make us some tea. How soon? Well, let's go after after this one. No, I'm all right here for a bit, but don't let me hold you back. No, no, you're not holding me back, no. If you want to stay, I'll, I'll stay. Well, that's <laughs> dentist for you. The scapegoats, a lot of them. You asked Sally Webster. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them about you the other week. Oh, yeah. I went the other week to the dentist and they, they gave me some forms to fill in. I think they were updating the records or something, but I didn't have time to fill them in before my appointment, so I had to fill them in afterwards. This is funny. The first question was, when did you last see a dentist? So I put two minutes ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's time you had a rest. Oh, here we go. Mustn't forget I'm an invalid. No, no, I'm not saying that. No, it must have been an exhausting few days, though. I'm sick of lying down. I intend to do very little lying down from now on. Oh, good for you. Even so, yeah. yeah, we should probably get going. Yeah, I've got some stock to sort anyway. I've had a load of rubber bones coming. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll love you and leave you, Ailey. Thank you for your company. Oh, and, and the mint balls. <laughs> Don't eat them all at once. It'll be your turn at the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Are you all right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm okay. Sorry. Maybe I will go upstairs after all. Yeah. Why don't you? Take easy, Halfway through reception? Why mess about? Because it's your wedding. Well, if you want my opinion, I think it's inconsiderate. Well, look, the reception's for the guests mainly, isn't it? I mean, you know, as long as they've got a drink in their hands, they'll not miss us. I won't know anyone. Well, you'll mingle. Typical of you, this is. No Sean? And Eva? You to leave her alone, though. Mm, it's to leave me alone and all. You see? Best man. Stood on his own in corner. Hmm. Where's that dog shampoo your brother bought? Under the sink. He's making a right mess in there. Is Liam in there? Yep. Yeah. He's going to need some dry pajamas. Oh, Marcus, I put them on fresh tonight. Well, I told him to stand back. <laughs> She's here. Uh, at least she hasn't got her own front door key. Hello. Unbelievable. Best behaviour. Come on up, Audrey. I might nip up the pub. Uh, 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 no, you don't. I hope you don't mind me letting myself in. Well, no, actually, it is my flat, isn't it? Uh, well, actually, it's no, not... No, 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 not at all. Of oh. course we don't, Audrey. Come on, Marcus, show Audrey to a room. You oh. stood there like a waxwork. I see, how swanky. <laughs> what room am I in? No, it's just the box room, I'm afraid, but, you know, it won't be for long. Oh, I wonder if I've got a euro <laughs> to tip the young man. <laughs> oh, my goodness, what's that? Aussie! Oh, I thought it was a big rat. Oi, back in the bath now. Oh, Liam, <laughs> hello. Aussie, oh. bath now! Sorry, Audrey, I'll show you two things. Oh, yeah. Sweetheart, is, is that kettle boiling? Let's just have a, a cup of tea first, shall we? Just so I can get myself a clamp of tiny. Right. Oh, Ooh. Marcus, you forgot the dog shampoo! <laughs> so, how many times have you tied the knot, then? Uh, it'd be more like, how often have I untied it? <laughs> What, you mean you've been divorced before you've even been married? <laughs> She's done everything back to front, this one. <laughs> I've been married, divorced, engaged, separated, idolised, abandoned. <laughs> mm, beneath that sweet old lady exterior. Well, I've had my moments. <laughs> Haven't we all? I hope I'm not single when I'm 70. <clears throat> or 50. Or 30, <laughs> actually. <laughs> so, how was Henry Cooper, then? Has he calmed down? Mm, just about. But you see, he's passionate. That's something you should look for in a man. Mm -hmm. And a pulse, that's another. <laughs> I hope those lads don't go to the police. They'd be well within the rights, wouldn't they? No, that's the last thing we need. Carl getting arrested the night before the wedding. Oh, don't say that. Right, who wants a top up? <sighs> Steady. <laughs> I'm not going to try it, it'll be funny. It's not a comedy story, is it? It's a wedding. <laughs> Actually, that would be funny, wouldn't it? Like a proper dark and serious best man speech, <laughs> all gloomy and depressing. I could tell some stories, man. Some best men, they use, um, 
but visual aids, don't they? Pictures yeah. and flip charts and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It's not me, Tyrone. I can barely work a felt tip pen. Anyway, if it were down to me, stag do a bit tonight. Night before the wedding, tie them to a lamppost a lot. <laughs> Old school. Old school. Yeah. Actually, it was down to you. Mind you, at least he yeah. had a fight. What's this? Just saying, stag do's ought to be the night before the wedding. Should be the law. <laughs> oh, what, and have the groom thrown up all over the altar? That's why you're not married anymore. <laughs> no idea what a woman wants. Yeah, well, to be fair, mate, none of us do. Man's got a point. At the end of the day, we're all in the dark. Hey, I might have a few of the photos from the full Monday night if you want on my phone. No. No, 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 we're not getting into all of that. <laughs> Should have seen him taking your clothes off for all the birds. <laughs> all left, did they? On, 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 on. Probably a good thing you're not trying any jokes tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. I thought that was quite good. On, on, on. Yeah. No. <laughs> hey, did he tell you what Jason was saying? Oh, yeah, he um, came to the garage before asking about you. Wanted to know what I remembered from that night. Hey? Well, why? He was there. I know, I thought it was weird. He wanted to know exactly where you were from one minute to the next. And I was like, what am I, Mr. Memory Man? <laughs> What's all this? Oh, it's just Jason Grimshaw causing trouble. Right, another beer. Go on, then. Yeah, please, mate. Carl, the condemned man. But Another beer. Might as well, while you're still free. <laughs> yeah, might as well. <laughs> It's not one for settling, is it? No, this goes on till 9.30. Really? Mm. Liam, uh, Mummy's just having a tea. It'll be two minutes. Marcus! Marcus is just having his tea. Oh, well, you seem to deal with him fairly smoothly. <laughs> oh, <dearie>. <laughs> <laughs> Oda's just having her tea, sweetheart. Oh, do we just bob your head in on him? He's so excited that you're here. What now? Yeah, just for two seconds. <laughs> yeah. No, hmm. oh, I'll see. I tell you, I feel like Robinson Crusoe. I'm going to put notches on the wall. <laughs> Day one. So, how's your Spanish? Mm. Un vino blanco e una cerveza, por favor. Oh. She's much better than me. Hey, that didn't sound too bad to me. Mm. Hey, I'm on. Might you take her with you? Oh, yeah, we'd love that. Bringing his mother in law on honeymoon. <laughs> Well, don't get in the way. I just do all your ordering and then disappear into the shadow. They'll speak English anyway, don't they, so? I've never been to Barcelona. Oh, it's got a very big, ugly church. Yeah, and a man-made beach. Oh, I could so do with that. I'll be thinking of you. Oh, very likely. You don't mind me going, do you? Hey, listen, if you were Weatherfield's leading neurosurgeon, then I'd mind, but as far as moral support goes, I'm sure I'll be all right. Are you sure? Oh, I love you. <laughs> I'm not being funny, but come on. We're having barbecues, she's inviting me to weddings. Where's it all going to end? I mean, it's not as if we're going out, technically. I'll tell you what she's doing, mate. She's suffocating you. No. Yeah. As soon as she gets him where she wants him, it'll be fix this, do that. Where have you been? What time do you call this? Stop looking at her. Sounds all right. Yeah, they're all right to start with that, but that's how they're really in. Oh, yeah? Hey, look at me. I'm just walking headlong into it. Oh, give over. You worship your missus, you. Yeah, she's the best. Uh, correction. Second best. Fizz is the best. Stella. No, Fizz. Stella. All right, all right. I said, yeah. <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> you getting your kit off. <laughs> Don't show him that, mate. Put it away. Oh, we are, Tommy, we are, put it away. <laughs> yes, gents. Beating up kids now, are we? <laughs> the usual, please, though. Call me right off. <laughs> What's that, mate? Oh, there's the pictures from the, uh, the full Monty night. You took photos? Yeah, I got loads. State one, all loads. <laughs> hey, you were saying before, right, when Carl was dancing, we're all the birds shouting, on, 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 on. <laughs> it was a favour, Tommy. Let me have a look at those. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Crack on. Mm. Mm. Right, I better get back to her. Uh... Yeah, listen, um, joking aside, you do like Sal, don't you? Yeah, of course I do. Why? It's just what you were saying before. I don't want to sound like a dad, but she's been through a lot. I don't mess her about it. You do sound like it, I don't know. Why would I mess her about? She's gorgeous. She makes me fry up. Yeah, well, just so long as you know. <sighs> yeah, where's, uh, Jason and Dev? Don't know. They've got my phone, though. Going for a smoke? No, uh, they don't smoke. Oh, did you phone around any driving schools? When? This afternoon. Not yet, no. 
So when will you? I'll have a look through the paper in the morning. You'll make a very capable driver, as long as you let the instructors instruct you. I've not forgotten what it was like last time we tried. I don't see what's wrong with a push bike. No, I don't know what you mean. Most people have got nothing but contempt for the speed limit. A speed limit is exactly that, a limit. I can picture you, though, behind the wheel. Windows rolled right down, the arches blasting out of a Sunday morning, vulgar bumper sticker or two. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Might be the making of you. So does that tell you what time these pictures were taken? No, but it'll be in order. Right, look, he's in this one, this one, mm. he's on stage here, and this one, I think that's Carl's arm. And there he is again, and again, and again coming off stage. Does he look shifty? Well, he would do, wouldn't he? Eh? He's stripping off in a bar full of all his friends and neighbours. Right, now, I can't see him here, or in this one, or this one, or this. But there's me, Rob, Dr Carter, Tommy's taking the picture. He's not in that one either. Or this, no sign. Jason, are you sure? Dev, he's missing from all these. And this. Hold on, wait a minute. There he is, he's back. He's in that one. And what's he doing like now? What do you think? Have a look. About what? What do you think about what? The look on your face in this picture. Where'd you been? <laughs> what do you mean, where had I been? Been gyrating on the stage with you in front of a room full of hysterical women. Why? No, you hadn't. You'd been here. <laughs> Jason. You know, this is getting tiresome. You nicked out. You left through the Beecher office window, you came here, you went into the cellar, and then you tried to set me up. Dave, you don't believe this, do you? He's been reading too many comics, watching too many films. Carl, there's like 50 odd photos on that phone, and you're missing from half of them. You know, one's in the middle, so. So, how do you account for that? Oh, this is insane. Dev, the police have investigated. I know it's hard to bear, mate, but. Sunita started that fire. Not me, not anyone else. It was Sunita. And now she's gone. Just give me back the phone. You what? I said, give me back the phone. What am I missing? Oh, nothing. We're just looking for a couple of pictures of Tommy's, aren't we, Carl? We'll give it him back. Well, Tess, let's go back inside. Who says I haven't? When? Oh, it was nothing. Come on, when have you ever broken the law? Is this in connection with those fence posts? That was Carl. What fence posts? A bit. So come on then, what did you do? I was much, much younger. Is it a crime or a misdemeanor? <laughs> or a felony? What's yeah. it a felony? <laughs> all right, all right. I went for six years without paying my TV licence and they never found out. Mm -hmm. Is that it? <laughs> That's the worst thing you've ever done, is not pay your TV license. I never said it was the worst thing. I said I'd broken the law. <laughs> Come on, what have you done? Oh, I've always paid my television licence. I don't want that van coming round with the Daleks sticking <laughs> out the top. You know, they can see through walls, you know. <laughs> Who's told you that? <laughs> it's true, and I've always had a telly in the bedroom. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what? Well, at least we can put it all to bed now. Don't think them lads will bother you again. Thank God for Carl Monroe, that's what I say. And Dev's got his money back for the chocolates. Mm. Can't believe I raised a thief. Let's hope it was just a phase. Now, is there anything else you haven't told us? No. You sure? Yeah. There's no mayo on this. I asked for mayonnaise. What are you looking for? I'm looking for a hot water bottle. I thought you might want one. Me? I don't want a hot water bottle. It's second week in September. But they're all back at the bathroom door for future reference, behind my best narrative. So they are. Sit down, Roy. Is there anything on tonight? Well, um, I've been watching a strangely addictive reality television programme. You haven't. Uh, about a power plant in Kentucky. It's a curious examination of our age. Plant faces closure. Workers losing their livelihood, communities breaking down, and yet what shines through is somehow rather hopeful. There's one of those property things on. 
you know, young couples buying the first total. I love those programmes. Seeing the faces light up when they get their offer accepted. You know, some people still chew tobacco. It takes all sorts to make a world. Why would you want to be filmed trying to buy a house? It's hard to imagine, isn't it? Life is indeed a mystery. What were you talking to the lads about? Oh, you, mainly. Really? Hey, what were you saying? Well, <laughs> they had to shut me up. I was getting a bit slushy. Really? Yeah. I think I might come to this wedding after all. Reception? Yeah, that'd be wonderful. If I can get up in time, I'm planning a bit of a line tomorrow. Oh, I'm sure you'll be able to rouse yourself. Well, this is very chaste, isn't it? Standing on the doorstep. Do you want to come in? I could warm us up some supper. I've got some chicken casserole in the fridge. No, I think I'll grab a kebab and crash at mine. Oh. But I'll have a cup of tea if there's one going. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Craig. Craig. Whoa, whoa. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, please. I just want to talk to you, OK? Just for a second, OK? It's not about the chocolates or anything, so you've got nothing to worry about, all right? Here we go. Cool? Good. So can we talk about Carl? Uh, do you know where you were the other day? Hmm? No. No, that's well, okay. It's all right. Okay, so uh, do you know anything about the night of the fire? The night that Sunita died? So what's Carl told you? Nothing. Nothing, eh? <laughs> Listen, he's dangerous. Right? He's a very dangerous man. Right? And you never stole anything from me, did you? Hmm? Uh, that's enough. Eh? And uh, you know something? I right? said that's enough. So what do you know, Inside. Carl? What do you know? What has Carl told you? Cos you know something, don't you? Cos you know something. So will Killer Carl get away with his crimes and marry Stella, or will Dev and Jason expose the truth? For an exclusive preview, head to itv.com forward slash Corrie now. Coming up, oh dear, the honeymoon seems to be over as the Doc and Louisa get to grips with married life. As brand new Doc Martin continues, here next. <laughs>